run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another haul video. So in today's video, I've got a very quick charity shop haul for you. Uh, I went out to my local town. I go out to my local town every Saturday and every Tuesday. Um, and today I got five items. So I thought, is it worth doing a haul or not? And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a very, very quick haul video. I'm going to try not to ramble too much and just show you these five items pretty quickly. So with that being said, let's get on with the video and I will share with you the first item. So, first off, we've got this really nice cream and gold jug. I don't know what the style of these plants are here, or these flowers. I don't know quite what they are. I'd only be making a fool of myself if I tried to guess. Um, but, yeah, there, there's some sort of plants or flowers around it here um, in this gold colour, which is really quite nice, actually. Now, I did pay four quid for that, but I thought to myself, I'd probably be able to get about 20 quid for this. I don't know whether I said, actually, I don't think I did. Um, it's by Arthur Wood there. Um, and, yeah, so Arthur Wood 3630 is the number on the bottom there. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I should be able to get around 20 quid for it, uh, plus my postage. Obviously, I will have to wait a little bit because it's so I and a lot of these sort of ceramics we do take a little while to sell but I'm not bothered by that it can just stay in storage and uh, it'll sell it'll get picked off at some point so yeah that's that one there so next I got a couple of engravings now these aren't as good as a few of the other ones I've had in the past um, but I did pick these up because uh, the only reason I did pick them up was because they were one pound fifty each don't know whether you can see that on the back there 150 and I thought, you know what, for that, I can't really leave them. It's too good of a price. So, you know, these ones probably only get about 10, 10 to 15 pound, I would imagine. You know, like 9 95 12.99 or 14.99 probably being the maximum um, that I would probably put on these. So, you know, it's not brilliant, but I thought I would pick them up because I do like selling these engravings. I think they're quite cool. Um, and potentially, if I put them up for 14.99 to begin with, then I might get that, you never know. But I, I think that probably I'll end up selling them for maybe twelve ninety nine plus postage just because these ones aren't as good as some of the ones I've had in the past. Um but yeah, one fifty for that one. It is the Grass Market Edinburgh. That's where it is, uh in what was that, eighteen twenty nine. So yeah, there's that one. And then there's this one here of some sort of church or abbey. It looks maybe more like a oh no, I don't know. No, it's a monument. It's not even, I don't think it's a church, actually. It's some sort of monument. Um, so, yeah, it's that way. it really does look like a church, but I don't know whether... I think it's some sort of mon monument. So, Walter... Oh, yeah, there... It, oh, I could just read it, couldn't I? Why, why am I this stupid? I literally could just read... It says it there. Sir Walter Scott Monument, Edinburgh. Oh, my God. This is... Right, this is a prime example... Don't I always say to everyone, I have no common sense? Prime example. Prime example. I don't even check the inscription. So, yeah. So, Walter Scott Monument, Edinburgh. Really nice monument. I'd like to go and visit that. It's like, it looks massive. It looks huge. It looks like it looked really cool, um, you know, actually in person. I don't know. It might not be there anymore. I don't know when this was actually done, but... Uh, this print, but I guess it'll still be there. It's one of those buildings that you wouldn't imagine would just would disappear. Um, but yeah, one pound fifty on that one as well. Again, probably a similar sort of price. Obviously, I have to check check up on this one. See, if, you know, check up on these. See if they're of a certain place that's really desirable, and then they might be worth a bit more. But I can't really. I just I can't envisage them being worth much more than that. So, yeah, that's those two there. I got this Ashes to Ashes box set, brand new and sealed, £4. Now, on Amazon, this is going for £51. Now, obviously, I've sold quite a lot of DVD box sets in the past, and I do know that they can start going for silly money. But it does seem quite a lot just for one series of Ashes to Ashes to go for 51 quid. I don't know what the free series are going for altogether as a box set. I know on eBay, I think the free series altogether in that kind of uh, checkered box set, that black and white checkered box set, I think you can go for about 40, 45. Um, so to get 51 quid just for series three seems a bit excessive. Um, so I will do a bit more research on that. Potentially, I might end up having to sell it for a little bit less. But obviously, if that's what it's saying on Amazon and the rank seem decent enough, then I'm going to shoot for that. And uh, and we'll see. But yeah, £4 there. 
potentially into 50 quid, maybe a little bit less. I'm not sure. I, I would have to just double check with it because it does seem a bit excessive. But I know Amazon prices on Amazon can be quite excessive and stuff. I'm doing it for a while and knowing that and, and seeing prices go crazy on Amazon before, especially at quarter four. I know that, you know, sometimes prices are just mental, but it does seem quite a lot of that. But four quid there anyway, I can't even go wrong really at four quid because even on eBay, I'm pretty sure this will be going for around 30 quid brand new and sealed, even just for, for series three. So yeah, can't really can't really go wrong on that one. Ashes to Ashes, Life on Mars, they're good ones to pick up. There's a lot of sealed DVD box sets that are really, really good to pick up. Um, it's just about knowing which ones really. There's absolutely loads of them, so I couldn't even... I couldn't really reel them all off at this moment because I, I, I probably forgot tons of them and just when I see them, I know them kind of thing. But uh, yeah, a lot of them are, are worth good money. So yeah, that's that one there anyway. And then this could be considered a little bit of a fail. I don't think it's going to be directly a fail because at Christmas, I think the price on this will go up a little bit on Amazon. But I was when I saw this and it was stickered up at a fiver, I thought, oh, that would be 20 quid on Amazon, no problem. I thought, yeah, that's probably going to be around 20 quid. Um, because it's this Ravensburger 3D puzzle, brand new and sealed, obviously. And it's this sneaker design one, so it's a 3D one. Um, and yeah, I paid a fiver for it and I thought, oh, that would be like 20 quid on Amazon. Um, and yeah, it goes for 12 99 And that's, you know, Amazon themselves are selling it at 12 99 The Amazon FBA offers from the third party offers are coming in at 14 99 Now, I'm hoping at Christmas it will go up and potentially I might be able to get... 20 quid for it or around that um, and that is a potential it could could happen uh, a lot of prices do go up in quarter four but again it really depends on you know the demand and all the rest of it so i'm not too sure but um it just goes to show that people even if you've been doing this for a while uh, if you forget to scan things in i didn't actually scan this in because I, I was just so confident in my ability i thought oh yeah that's going to be worth x number number of pounds um and it wasn't so uh you know even people who've been doing this a while make a mistake. I should have scanned it and then possibly I might not have picked it up. But to be honest, I do think in quarter four it will go up a little bit. So I think I should be still fairly safe on that one. But it probably won't be a huge profit or anything. But yeah, £5 for that one there, this Ravensburger puzzle. If you do see these and you do see other variants of these for a couple of quid at the car boot and the brand new and sealed, Definitely pick them up because a lot of these are worth around the 20 quid. Just this one particularly isn't. Um, I think the Big Ben one or something, that's probably like 16 to 20 or something like that. So, you know, it's definitely worth, worth picking up some of them. Um, and don't ignore them and just obviously possibly don't pick them up for a fiver. Um, but yeah, that's that one there anyway. And that is everything for my little haul today. So just a quick one. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, then please do subscribe to the channel. Um, if you haven't as well, then please do like the video if you did like it and you got a little bit of information out of it. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So I will see you very soon, guys. I'll give you what I got. The alcohol of at this flowing wild. So grab yourself a can of mild